What's going on everybody? This is Adonis with Absolutely Tech, and today we're gonna to be going over one of the mysteries of the world. What is iCloud? Let's get started. So this is a video that people have been asking me to do for quite some time and I'm really excited to do it and hopefully I can do more like this. Right now I have a couple of quick links here that allow you to jump through the video to any specific part that you wanna to get to. All right, let's get started. So this is my iCloud settings. Now what you're looking at right now um, and what we're gonna be going over today is gonna to be two major functions of iCloud. We're not gonna go over every single function, um, just the two major ones. I'll do another video on iCloud Drive and how your photos um, work and possibly iCloud Keychain. Just keep me posted in the comments if you guys want um, more information on those. Um, but the two major functions are the syncing function and the backup function. So what we're looking at right now is the syncing panel in iCloud. What is syncing? So let's say I have a Mac computer, I have an iPad and an iPhone. They all must have the same Apple ID on them, okay, for this to work. Now if I have all of these toggled on, what that means is if I create a contact on my iPhone right now and I go to my computer, it will have that contact on there. If I edit something uh, like a contact, it will show up on my phone and on my iPad. That way I don't have to keep connecting my devices to my computer to share that information. So it keeps these, uh, keep things in sync. That's what the function is for. Now other things on here like your notes, Safari bookmarks, reminders, calendars, um, those things um, will be uh, functioning the same. Now, depending on the type of email you have for your Apple ID will determine on what you can turn on and turn off. So well, let me explain. If you have, let's say, um, a Yahoo account as your Apple ID. You may not be able to turn on the notes um, or an AOL account. Some of these things may be turned off because it requires an Apple ID to use, uh, like a, an Apple Apple ID to use these functions. Some other functions like a Gmail account will give you and grant you the ability to use all of them. It just depends on the email account. So if you have one and you're like, oh, well I can't turn mine on without creating a new Apple ID, it's because your email account, okay? so. This is the syncing function. So just keep that in mind. This, these uh, settings keep all of your devices in sync with each other, okay? Now, the second part is the backup function. I'm gonna select the backup right here. And it says that my last backup is at 1.13 a.m. this morning. Now, this is a little bit different. This is specific to the device, okay? So this does not, um, have anything to do with my iPad or my Mac. This is specifically with my iPhone. Now, as far as the backup goes, you want to make sure that it is turned on. Okay. It says iCloud backup. Now, if that was turned off, just toggle it on. What you need to do at that point is do a backup. Um, you have to be on Wi-Fi to do it. Select, it'll say backup now. Like it says now, you'll select that and it'll do its backup. First backup may take a couple of hours depending on how much is on your phone. After that though, every day when you are charging your phone and you're on Wi-Fi, it will do a backup of your device automatically. It isn't something that you have to do daily. Um, it will automatically do it. So just keep that in mind. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to storage up here and it's gonna show me how much storage I have. I'm gonna cl click Manage Storage and it's gonna show you what devices I have backing up to my iCloud storage, okay? Right now it says backups in the middle here. I'm gonna select that, it says iPhone, this phone. That is the phone that I'm currently on. And it's gonna tell me the last backup was 113 this morning. The backup size is 889 megabytes, okay? Now under that, it shows everything inside the backup, okay? So I'm gonna hit show all apps. Now some of you may say your photo library says you have no data. Um, that does not mean that I don't have photos. I'll get to that in another video, but that's because I have all of my photos going through iCloud Drive. That is a new function of iCloud, and I'll get uh, to that in another video. But it does show here that I have all of these applications, right? I can toggle them on or off if I want them to be in the backup. It says the next backup size is 944 megabytes, so it's growing. Um, so I can turn these things off if I want to and just have them not back up, okay? But remember, this is specific to the device. So what it is, this is a photocopy of everything on my phone, okay? Text message history, 
right? Your settings, your Wi-Fi networks, your email accounts. The only thing that does not come back is your music. Your music is either bought from iTunes, so you can redownload it that way um, off of your phone, or it's syncing from your computer, which you can connect to anyways. Um, why it doesn't store it in the backup is a mystery of the world. Um, you might wanna contact Apple for that. But um, at the moment, that is something that it does not do. So there's everything but, everything but your music. So I'm gonna go back. Now up top in this section, it does say iCloud Photo Library. And it says that I have 10.6 gigs in photos. I remember I was saying before, I do have iCloud Drive. That's why it's showing that I have no photos in my backup. Um, so just keep that in mind. And I will do another video on iCloud Drive. Um, that way it can explain uh, what that is and how it works. Um, now down here, you can change your storage plan if you wanna have more storage for your backups um, or if you wanna have iCloud Drive enabled. Um, and in the middle, you have documents and data. So that's gonna be videos, um, documents. Obviously, I can click show all to show other things that I have. So one password. Now these things are strictly based on the app developer, okay? So if you had, let's say an app and you did a backup and you restore from the backup and your, your files from that app were not syncing, right? It didn't come back to your phone. Don't go to Apple and start raving and complaining. Oh my God, this didn't work, eh, hey, me, right? It has nothing to do with that. It's the Apple, uh, it's the app developer's responsibility to include that in their app, okay? That is not something that Apple makes. They uh, allow it to be available for app developers so they can back up their app information, but it is not um, something that Apple can control in the retail store. So if you go there expecting that they're gonna magically bring back all of your stuff, that is not what it is, okay? So just keep that in mind. So we're gonna go back here. I'm gonna go back. So um, just to recap, so this is our syncing. Remember, this keeps every Apple device that I have with the same Apple ID in sync as far as the, tech, the little information toggles, okay? The other part is the backup. It is a photocopy of your device, okay? So um, just to clarify something, if you don't have a backup of your iPhone, okay, let's say it's stolen, you don't have a backup, you get a new phone. The neat thing about this is everything that's toggled on here is already syncing with iCloud. So when you get the new phone, you put in your Apple ID, everything toggled on here will come over, okay? But there is one caveat. This place where it says photos, it says on, okay? See where it says upload to my photo stream. Yours may have just my photo stream turned on, okay? What photo stream is? Photo stream is, think of it as a bridge, okay? It is not a Dropbox for all of your photos, okay? It only stores 1,000. Now, some of you will say, wow, that's a little low, right? I have 20,000 photos. Okay, so what the function of photo stream is? Photo stream allows you to pick up your photos from other Apple devices that you have with that Apple ID on them without syncing them with your computer. So I'll give you an idea. If I take a photo on my iPhone and I want it on my iPad, usually back in the day, you'd have to connect the uh, phone to the computer, import the photo, and then go connect the iPad to the computer and then take the photo to the iPad. Very long, annoying process. This shortens the process. So it shows a photo on your iPad and you can save it on your iPad. But keep in mind, it does not store more than 1,000. Once you take 1,001, the oldest photo will roll off, okay? So remember, this only stores 1,000. If you wanna store your photos and make sure that they're safe, make sure you have a backup, okay? Have a backup, either through the backup function on iCloud or connect it to your computer and back it up to your computer. There are other ways like Dropbox, like Google Drive, like SkyDrive, like Flickr. There are other ways to store your photos online or quote unquote the cloud. But just keep in mind that PhotoStream does not store all of your photos. Now, I just wanna make sure I don't forget anything in here. Um, oh yes, find my iPhone. So find my iPhone um, is a security function of your device, okay? Make sure that it is turned on. At the same time, at the same time, make sure you know your Apple ID password because if you ever lose your phone and you find your phone, or let's say you, um, not lose your phone, let's say you uh, forget your pin code and you need to restore your phone, but you don't know your Apple ID. You take it to Apple, they wipe the phone so you can use it, and then it asks you after you've restored the phone, what's the Apple ID to this device, and you don't know it, 
you're kind of screwed. So you wanna make sure that you know your Apple ID. It is very important. It's like the social security number of everything that you do with Apple. So keep that in mind. Um, and it is a function for security. So if somebody were to steal your phone and they tried to wipe it, they wouldn't be able to get into it because they would need that password. All right. Um, now, last thing, there has been questions in the past by some of my friends. Hey, you know, um, how do I back up my computer to iCloud? Your computer does not back up to iCloud. It backs up to a time machine backup or an external hard drive of some sort. It will not back up to iCloud. It is not meant for that. Your computer has far too many things on it um, that can get very, very large very quickly. May they do something in the future with iCloud in the computer? Possibly, but at this point in time, there is no um, function for that. So just keep that in mind. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. If you guys have any other questions or, um, or suggestions for new videos, leave them down in the comment section below. All right, guys, till next time. See you later.